from Eccentric Physio. And today we're looking at restoring uh, or regaining some uh, side flexion or frontal plane movement into our lower back. Um, it's going to encompass uh, some other muscles, so you might feel some stretches in other places. But uh, we've kind of moved away from focusing locally on the lower back and trying to integrate some of the other muscles that are involved as well. So if you feel like you've lost movement capacity in this direction, then this will be a useful exercise sequence for you. A good place to start is uh, in this cross-legged position. And just to begin with, can you say touch your elbow down to the ground? And this requires a certain amount of side flexion. You'll find it easier in some directions. You can rest here and start to reach up towards the sky. You can also come back a little bit and reaching up this way. Or you can come forward a bit and reach up this way. Kind of exiting the sideways plane a little bit and starting to go into some forward and back stuff so you will get some other muscles stretched. Um, but the main one to focus on is the pancake. So if my legs are open like this, I'm looking at can I also side flex? Now for some of you just getting here might be a bit of a challenge. That's okay. It will start to get easier. You can always use a, a little prop and stick that underneath here so that your hips can just tip forward a little bit more and it's a little bit easier to rock forward. What that looks like from the side, instead of being, say, rounded back like this, you can be up on here and it's gonna tip you forward so that you're able to get a little bit further this way. It's not that the rounding will necessarily go away for everyone unless you have the adductor or hamstring mobility, but it's a way to just be able to get at least your gravity this way so that you can get a stretch into these muscles here. Now the active component is to be something on your side here, like a pillow, something that you can contact. If it's too far away, then it's not gonna be useful. So you might start with something soft that you can push through, but it's big enough to contact. So as I come this way, I can squish this into my thigh, which allows me to then reach over here. And it's the active component of me trying to squish this object. Now I'm gonna get a stretch here, gonna get a stretch in here, and eventually some shoulder mobility so that I can get over to my toe over here. You're trying not to fall forward, you're trying to round back this way and stay square to whatever you're facing. You come over to the other side and it's the same thing. So I'm pushing into here, and then I'm coming and I'm squishing, 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 and then I relax. And then squishing, 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 and then relax, and you'll start to feel that you open up a little bit more. And so I'm on my third one here, and I'm getting closer to that foot. I think I'll get it on the fifth. And then relax, and then squishing, and then relax, and then squishing, and now I'm touching. Keep squishing, and then relax. So the active component just means that it's going to help other muscles relax a bit quicker, but it also means that you're going to be creating some strength in the areas that you're contracting with. And when you get strong in a range, then you can start to control it and you start to feel safer there. And then you start to get access to that more readily with less and less warm up, and it becomes your cold flexibility. And so now if I come back into here, I can touch my torso to my thigh and I can get over here. So really useful stretch, really useful cues for just building some of that sideways flexibility. Um, give it a go, use the props behind you and bolster yourself up if you need to. Um, but as always, if there's any pain, hold off. There's some easier versions uh, in our videos that you can find. Just look for anything side flexion related um, and then build yourself up to this. If you like this video, then please hit like below. Otherwise, to check out more of our content in the future, you can subscribe to our channel by clicking our logo over here. And to check out our latest video, click up here.